Hello everyone, I'm JB Long, voice of your Los Angeles Rams, here with the newest member of the organization. He is Vaughn Miller. Vaughn, welcome to Los Angeles. How Howdy. are you? I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. It's, uh, it's great. How are you settling in? You know, it, it feels like I uh, transferred schools. <laughs> Like my mom and dad moved out last minute and I transferred school and you know, I'm trying to make new friends and find my way around and get to all my classes and you know just get acclimated. This is the first time in your life that you're being traded though. Mm -hmm. You've seen friends and teammates go through it, having now lived it, experienced it yourself. What are your impressions? Oh, it was tough. You know, it really was. Um, it's kind of like, you know, pulling the splinter out. You know, when you pull it out, it's like, it hurts bad. You know, feelings are hurt, it's painful. And then, um, you know, a couple of days pass and, you know, it heals up and you and you realize that, you know, this is a better fit, you know, for me. It's a better fit for the Broncos. It's a win-win situation. You know, I joined a um, legendary franchise, legendary fan base, amazing team. You know, I went to sleep, you know, four and four and woke up seven and one. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not too much that I can uh, complain about, you know. And, and honestly, you know, when I think about the things that I prayed about, you know, I think about all the things that I wanted. You know, I wanted change in my team. I wanted my team you know, to start winning. And, um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. So this is this is what I prayed about. This is what I prayed for. And, you know, I want to take, it, I want to take full advantage of my opportunity while I'm here. One thing about your game, I asked Sean McVay about this earlier in the week. Because of your pass rushing prowess, it seems to me that the way that you can play all three downs and defend against the run maybe gets overshadowed a bit. Given what Leonard Floyd does on the other side of scrimmage, how much are you looking forward to putting that on display too? I mean, I, I play run. You know, that's, that's uh, first and foremost to me. Um, it was times um, when I was with the Denver Broncos where, you know, the team says you're not going to get a pass rush. If, if they want to block you with three people, then it's super tough to get a, a sack. So I got to figure out ways to affect the game. I got to figure out ways to do it. And, and playing solid run defense was that for me for a very long time. So I'm anxious to play the run. You know, I'm anxious to rush the passer. You know, you can't rush the passer without playing the run. And, um, you know, I'm anxious to work with 9-9 with nine, nine and see all the wonderful yeah. things that we can do. You know, we got a, we got a crazy defensive line. It reminds me of the, the fearsome, foursome. <laughs> you know, um, we got a lot of pieces up there. It's, it's, it's incredible to be here. And you know, like I said before, it hurt, you know, at the very beginning. But, you know, now every single day you just get more and more excited to be a part of this franchise. Uh, you mentioned some of the attributes of Aaron Donald and how much you're looking forward to being alongside him. Players like Dante Fowler, Clay Matthews. Leonard have really benefited from what we call the Aaron Donald effect. How much, you know, aside from scheme, is just learning how to team with in tandem Aaron Donald? You know, I've been triple team for the last <laughs> six years of my career, so I, I want to bring that. Um, I want to have that same effect on games. If I can, you know, demand a triple team, then we got AD in the middle, one on one. He can be there all day, every day. You know, so I want to demand uh, attention to really, uh, you know, alleviate some of the stress that he has. You know, I, I want him to be um, as, as effective as he possibly could. You know how you talked about the Aaron Donald effect. I want to bring the Von Miller effect and help all the teammates around me as well. Now the three pump sack celebration made the rounds again, of yeah. course, as it so often does. But uh, I went looking through your career splits, seeing if you had ever sacked Matthew Stafford. And Pro Football Reference said, no, you had not. But I'm thinking, wait a second, wasn't Stafford the target of that sack right before the dance? Uh, it turns out there was a, an illegal play downfield that yeah, it wiped it off your record. Yeah, it was. I did, and that was in Detroit. I think that was 2015. Maybe. Week three, 2015. Will you revisit that moment with Matthew, maybe? <laughs> no, that's good. It's, it's over and done. I think Megatron was still playing, as a matter of fact. I think he was still on the, was he still on the roster? I think he was still on the roster. And um, yeah, that was, a, that was a great game for us. Um, you know, we came in and played. I had a lot of pressure that game. I just couldn't quite you know, sack Stafford and, you know, I might not ever had a chance to do it. So I'm, I'm okay with it. That was my thought process is now that he's wearing a red jersey whenever he lines up across from yeah. you, he might like to keep it that way for yeah. the rest of his career. Yeah, he is the most valuable player on this football team, you know, by far. We need him. Got to stay away from him and, um, you know, make sure he can continue to be effective on Sundays for sure. Last thing, Vaughn, I wonder what's piquing your interest away from football these days? I know you're curious, you're research minded. Anything you'd like to share with our audience that uh, captured you know, your fascination? You know, I, you know I really have an addictive personality, especially when it comes to um, hobbies. And I can pick up a hobby, you know, in five minutes. You know, I've been playing golf all year. You know, I DJ, you know, I hunt, I fish. Um, I'm a part-time comedian, you know, a little bit. <laughs> Y'all supposed to laugh at that, but no. <laughs> I was gonna say, you wanna <laughs> no, audition anything for us? No, it's good. Um, you know, and I just, I really enjoy being a teammate. I really enjoy being on, um, you know, a team like this, you know. Um, the stress level is, is, is extremely high whenever you're losing. Um, and when, you, when you're on a 71 team, everybody has you know this this glow and this energy about them, and 
you know, it's been a joy to be here. Um, I'm looking forward to DJing and playing golf and you know, doing all the things that I do off the field. We will have to introduce you to DJ Malski at SoFi yeah, Stadium. Sure. He's the best in the NFL. Vaughn, thank you for some of your time. Thank you, uh, guys. Good luck with everything on Appreciate the field. You Cannot guys. wait to see you at SoFi Stadium.